Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to the Talos Principle 2 tonight. After, um, fucking around a whole bunch in that previous area, we finally got the two stars, so that means we can move on to the, the next little section and do some actual puzzles. <laughs> some actual puzzles. Um, did I do the... I did activate the tower, right? Yeah. Then I ran my butt back to get on the public transport here. Um, so let's head over to... Is that gonna be South 2? Verdant Canyon, that sounds fun. Let's go. Let's go there. You know, I always kind of resented Byron for being so charming and charismatic. <laughs> charming and charismatic, huh? It's not how I would describe Byron. Being the voice of caution is not a fun role to play. No, but it is necessary. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, I understand where Alcatraz is coming. Maybe that's too much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But sometimes it is too much. It's not your fault, Al. It did sound like Alcatraz was on his way to a whole, yeah, it's my fault type thing he had going, so... Good on you, Yakut, for cutting him off there. <laughs> it was definitely Byron's responsibility for running like, in like a damn fool. Like, whatever. Okay. In this area, we have an especially weird problem. Something in one of the labs is going completely bananas. B a n a n a s. Because I'm not well. You come find me when you're ready. Okay. I, I oh, guess we can do that now. Which libraries and bananas? <laughs> <laughs> bananas. Totally bananas. All right. Let's see. We got eyes on one already. Two is just over there. Hmm. So we got eyes on four, five, and six as well. Whatever that one happens to be. Oh, okay. So we've got a, a Prometheus bit for one of the stars. Excellent. Excellent. Um, okay, that's one of the... No, okay, that's number three over there. And a couple of the... Okay, and I guess Melville is probably the, the marker for the lab, so we don't have to go chase that one down any this time either. So who was it last time that uh, was like, yeah, we've marked the... I think, okay, I think it was Alcatraz is probably the one that marked the lab on our map in the previous section. Hey, Game Over, how you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, let's take a quick jog to the right there. Let's, which number is that one? That's number two. Okay. Looks like there's another little tiny question mark over here. Oh, what's that over there? We swim? Oh no, it's like fucking knee deep. It's fine. Let's run right over. Oh, it's a glowy hand bit. Okay. Um, some reading, and then a thing from Trevor. Another organism from the northwestern plains are already moving into the rivers. Seen frogs and dragonflies. That's pretty cool. Next generation of plants has really taken root and is slowly <laughs> transforming the desert. Yesterday, a bunch of seagulls. Hooray! The dirty ass rats with wings. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere we could apply this anywhere including Mars or Mercury somewhere much further away we could transform a lifeless rock into a place teeming with life and make millions of dead worlds come alive well okay alright so that's that's the reference bit to Miranda doing the terraforming stuff huh <clears throat> rationality well humans are pretty irrational aren't they uh, deeply and inherently irrational the claim goes and some of it's hard to disagree blah 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 animals we don't need to write poetry pray or observe the stars yeah true enough Problem with human history, the pragmatic everyday reality is a mere survival to the cold logic of global realpolitik. Oh boy. So that is in fact ruthlessly rational. I mean, yes, but uh, far too little space for rational things like kindness or inspiration. So imagine that a return to a more rural traditional form of living would be a romantic turning away from the tyranny of reason. Forget that there's no, no one more brutally rational than the farmer. I mean, true, yes. The city that allows us to romance allows us the romance of the countryside, right? It's technology that allows us to appreciate nature, blah blah blah. Purpose of reason ultimately is to build frameworks within which we can be rational. Sure, I guess. Sure, I guess. Alright, let's listen to Trevor, I suppose. That's something more coherent fiction, this time. Alex gave me a book. Her favorite book, a novel called Athena. It's not exactly what I'm used to reading, but it's pretty good. And it really made me wonder how we're going to be perceived. 
if this project works out, mm. are we going to be mythologized? Is <laughs> Alexandra going to be this distant mythical figure instead of the real? Uh, human yeah, I guess that that's true. Is? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's hard to imagine that we'll all have been dead for hundreds of years. <clears throat> Man, I'm scared. I'm really scared. And what will your contribution have been, Trevor? <laughs> Besides these goof-ass voice clips. Oh, I figured there'd be something over here. Something kind of out of the way, you know? Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? See ya. Uh, I really was hoping for something over here. Like, just a little artifact or something? No? Nothing? I did have eyes on that uh, little wall climby bit over there too, so we'll do that. Before I forget it's here. Before it turns out this is actually uh, important. Uh, oh, hope, hope nobody's uh, prone to the vertigo. This is a little bit of vertigo. <laughs> um okay i guess we just kind of jumped down here huh what oh, what 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 <laughs> wait what uh crap okay maybe that wasn't the exact uh spot to go there huh let's try that again they're just supposed to like jump. Uh. Oh wait, here. There's just like a. Whoa, jeez. Okay. That seemed way more precise than it needed to be. But okay, here we are up here. What's the? What's the? Oh, that's a little. Okay, it's a little like puzzle skip spark thing that we don't need. Okay, there's one of the um the hidden puzzles over there. It's the little pedestal is tipped over. There's also probably another hand glowy bit there. Imagine that there's gonna be something else up here. I mean, besides the spark thing, right? I'm kind of hoping anyways, because it seems way, way larger than it has any right to be up here for just that little tiny bit. That's the one we just got. Well, I guess it did give us a little survey of the land here. I'm gonna get eyes on where I want to go next. Uh, I guess we'll probably just check out these two things. We might not do the, the lost puzzle right away. Just because we've had bad track records with uh, doing shit in reverse order, right? Oh, and it's the other um, the other star thing. Well, what do we got? What's this one? Ah, it's a Pandora laser thing. Okay. Uh, oh, actually it isn't. Where's the actual laser receptor on it? Oh, it's just to the side instead of on the front. Okay. Well, that leaves... Well, look at that. That leaves very, <laughs> very few things over here that are uh, actually line of sight to it. So it very well might be here. Uh, I see. Yeah. Probably over here in some capacity. Except I don't know how exactly to get up there. Yeah, let's just kind of head up the path and see what we can see. Yeah. Unless we can somehow just... Yeah. That would be fun to just be able to jump straight on up there. That is kind of weird that it's just the single panel there. It's a bit unusual. Try to Skyrim horse my way up here. Oh, oh, hey, oh, ah. Oh. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, oh, jeez. No ups. None ups. Kinda eh. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's a little bit easier to platform in the third person thing, right? 
Oh, well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this jump, though. Eh. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> eh. Probably not the way to do it. Oh, no, 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 don't fall down there. Oh, we're so close. Feel it. Oh, uh, okay. Well. <laughs> oh, for just land on the. Thank you. Ah, hmm. uh, okay. Well, it seems then that at least the source of the laser would probably be in this lost puzzle here, right? Unless it wants me to. Traverse all the way up the other side there, which would be a little silly, but wouldn't put it past it. But okay, so here's the... Oh, oh, I think I see. Okay, so there's one of those panels there. Which, um, that might be the new thing we're learning about in this section, too. We might actually be better off going back to Puzzle 1 and learning about it first before we try to do this. But you know, we're already here. Fuck it. Um, okay. Alright, we got some buttons. And a fan and a, oh, a grav shifter. Creates a gravitational beam that pulls devices or bodies towards anti-grav surfaces. Ah, I see. I, oh, I see. Okay. We've got a box. Aha, okay. Well, who needs puzzle one to learn about these things? And you can learn by doing. Okay. Excellent. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Well, all right. I think I see what they want me to do here. Um, well, maybe I don't. Maybe I wanted that box back here. Oh, but I probably couldn't get it back here without uh, pulling it around. Oh yeah, I see what's going on here. Let's do uh, this, and we'll just kind of do that and that. Zerp. Right? Oh no. Uh, all right, hold on a second. Let me do this and put it right there on the box. Uh, no. Ah, no. Grab it. To grab it and hold it up in the beam. Oh, I see. I have to get it up there somehow, maybe. All right. Hold, please. Hold for a hot second here. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what the? I hit that there, put that there, put that there, jump up there, put that there. I was expecting a little jump a do like jump up on this platform thing but it's not letting me do that that's interesting i figured it would have let me do that but uh okay maybe not hmm uh, okay well i guess if i just do that or can I go up in this myself? No, I guess not. Uh, Alright, let me put this back over, like, here. Well, I, I do, but... Here, let me do... Grab that. Can I just drop it on the fan? <laughs> No. Oh, I see. I think I need to do this first. Or... or not. Oh, that's pulling it down. That's interesting. Uh... Hmm. Okay. You know what? Let me reset this once. Before I fucked around and brought that cube over on the other side. Um, the little gravity tunnel things from this thing are new to this area. Um, so this is the, the new fun thing we've got to work with here. Okay, so I see. Then that's... That was up there to begin with. 
Okay. Um, so maybe I'm right about that, but I need this over here first. And that pulls it back down. Alright, alright. Um, this pulls this down, right? Okay. Hmm. But I really need it over there. So what I'd like to have it do, I'd like to get up there and pop the box up there so we can shove it across, but I don't know that that works like that. So let me do this once. Let me pull that off. Let me, no, oh, move that over a little bit. Point it at that. Get that a rolling, and then just go here. And if I could just do a, a little slight, you know, toss up here, but it's not gonna let me do that. Alternatively from before, let's do it this way. Just kind of put that down. Because that would get me up here, right? Hmm. Does it solve the issue of me not being able to jump on that platform? I see. Uh, oh, no, I can't, uh... Can't yoink itself while it's generating the little gravity well thing. Hmm. Fortunate. Okay, is there another piece I'm missing, perhaps? Can I... Can we beam through the purple bits? Okay, we can. Can we detach this fan? We cannot. Okay. So then the other thing would be to just pull it back that way, but what would that... What would that do? Other than, well, hold on a second. Can we do this? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Because I imagine we'll need to do that eventually to get ourselves over there to hit the thing, but can't do that just yet. Um. Okay, grab this again. Try to. So that brings it back down to the ground. That one's too high up to get. That's as low as we're gonna get that one. I don't think I can yoink this such that... No, I got it. I, I used my head to push the fucking thing up into the beam. All right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? Okay, so now we've got that open. And now we've got this. Um, and now I can probably just... Can I jump my butt up into there? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, no. But how do I get down? Okay, there we go. Got it. <laughs> All right, good. And now that we've learned about the little if the language of gravity well platforms, kind of melody, maybe that's why we respond to music the way we do. Can we target? Because we recognize there. something that can't be expressed in any other way. And when we play music, we participate in something ancient, in an in an act of creation. Ancient, you say. Alright, and then that's how we get up there. That's why it was weird to see that single panel up there. As 
we just need the little little gravity bit to get up here. And yeah, oh, there's an inverter involved. Interesting. Uh, okay. What in the... How are we going to use this? Huh. Alright, well... Okay, we can target it, but I don't think anything inverts to green, does it? And that's realistically the only thing over here that has a has a bit to it. <laughs> well, hey, I think I learned my lesson from last time to be like, look around real thoroughly. Look around real thoroughly and just take that extra exploratory step. Otherwise, you're going to miss something, right? But I think this is one of the things we'll have to wait for later on because I don't... I don't know what we're supposed to do with this here. Oh, I see another... Oh, I see a different laser beam thing over there. Okay. Can we target that from here? Yeah, just barely. What is that? It's a relay. A relay of something, but I don't know what the f that's supposed to do or where it even comes from. Alright, well, we've got the setup. We can come back to it. Um, well... While we're here, I guess. Let me, uh... I actually almost wonder if we just point green into whatever that relay is. If it just comes over here and then this acts as a relay anyway. So let me grab both. And put it just like, I don't know, I guess right there? There. That should still be connected. Just in case. Because maybe if we dunk green into that anyways... It'll just kind of feed on its own, and then it'll be fine. But now I'm curious where that's going to lead. Oh, wow. That's quite the quite the relay set up here. Ah, that's, that's where it stops. Okay, so then probably whatever puzzle this is, number two, perhaps, is going to feed out to that one. Let's see what we got if there's lasers in number two. Presumably two. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, alright. Yep, looks like there's at least a blue. Blue source. Gravity thing. Laser bit there. Okay, can we uh, point this through a fence? We cannot. Well, there's nothing there. Okay. Ah, there's a fan bit there. I guess that goes up. Yep. Alright. Anything else we got to work with here? No. Alright. Well, maybe actually. No, because then that's that, and we just need to really get blue around there somehow. Okay. Okay. So that activates the fan, right? You want so I can see. Oh, I see. I think I see what's going on here. So do that. Do that. Pull my butt over there. Okay. That fits. Okay, so we can then move this to here. Climb out. Uh, tunnel that up there. And then, uh... Oh, no, 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 I see. I see. Well, actually, no. I think I see. I need to get my butt in there now. Probably with... Uh, wait, actually, how the hell is that gonna work? Because I think I need to get it connected up and then suck it to the ceiling there. How do I get my booty over there? Oh, I see. Now that it's on that plane, I can go like uh, this. Uh, oops, wait. Like this. There we go. 
So now we're on this sucker. Now we can grab that and do... Oh, that's weird. <laughs> can I jump here, please? There we go. That's better. Uh, ooh, a little vertigo -y. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Just like that, I guess. Yeah, that opened it up. All right. And now how do we detach? Just double, double taps, right? Uh, uh, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, it worked. Okay. Um, so I guess technically speaking, we've got blue. Uh, where was that relay point? Um, but that would feed it blue and not like green that we want it to be fed, right? It's just behind the sucker. No, I can't do anything. This is right nearby. I think I had come across around this bend here. Ah, right there. Okay. Do we have? Okay, we do sort of have line of sight here. Sort of. Okay. And this does seem to be like the only one that could perhaps be in range. So you know what, let's hook this up to blue. The inverter will take it to red and then I have a feeling we'll have to do something fancy with it later on. To turn it to green and get it to that Pandora thing. Um, let me go ahead and do this. Oh. All right, um, just keep that connected and then turn up to, oh my goodness, where was it? Uh, <laughs> where was it actually though? Oh, I don't like being on this one. There we go, that's better. Upside down is better than cockeyed 90 degrees there. Um, where was it? Thought we more or less had line of sight to it, right? It was behind. It was behind, right? It was behind the puzzle, um, and we came into the puzzle from. Uh, <laughs> uh, which direction was that? Uh, I, I feel like it was that direction, so it must be behind. No, because it was like from over here. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Can I? I think it was... I guess maybe we don't need to be on the ceiling for this, right? Unless I can just... Can I just walk over here? No. You know what? I can just pop my butt off without having this, right? Uh, can we jump down... over the fence? <laughs> I'm gonna have to look again. I have to look again because what? I don't remember where it was. We came in. Okay, so I see. We came into the puzzle from the direction of the source, and the relay bit is over there, just kind of behind the tree. Uh, okay. Wish I could get it down here. Mm. Alright, that's fine. Just kind of try to do this from here. Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. They don't give you a, a lot of visual to go off to to see that. <laughs> that could have been a little clearer. But alright, so that gives blue out to the inverter, right, which turns it into red, uh, which then gives us a red source all the way over there. So almost certainly that will have to be used by something else that has line of sight to that, right? So we've got to somehow turn that into green. Uh, 
probably somewhere over there. Okay. Well, we've got that set up. We can change it up later. And then we know the other star bit is a whole Prometheus follow the purple goo thing. And that's pretty much the extent of him. So that the only other hidden bit we need to find is now the other lost puzzle. So, a little bit of pre-recon. Well, let's do one and learn about the, the gravity bits. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, this one's got a blue to it as well. Okay, there's a normal laser bit up there, which I am going to need. So, going Karuski there. And then I will just climb my own personage up there and grab it. There we go. And that gets us to. Oh, I see. So then we gotta go like this again. Connect it up, go back up, set it up. All done. Whoa, whoa, geez. What, what, what are we... Oh, okay, we're still technically against the thing. <laughs> like, how did I get my butt into the ground there? Okay. Pretty easy. Keep an eye out for another couple laser relay points, even though we're kind of headed in the opposite direction of where we need them. Oh, except for, yeah, no, number two is over here, that's right. Oh, I imagine there's ways to clip out, right? Because that's some weird vertigo shit with walking on walls and ceilings. You have to imagine there's a way to, to get your butt out of bounds, right? Uh, hey, Alcatraz, want to talk? No? Okay, fine, fuck you. Um, number three is this way. Oh, there's a little ghost thing over here. Come on, out with it. What's the problem? I know you're very busy, but... Oh, Byron! But you need to pay more attention to what's happening. Everything's slowing down. Oh, wait. People are losing track of the bigger picture. Byron is the voice of They're reason here? Traumatized this by is New weird. Alexandria. It's more than that. When I organized the last expedition, I had real trouble finding volunteers. There's no enthusiasm for the outside world anymore. They want to look away from history, pretend there's no past and no future. I'm really worried, Athena. Okay. I promise I'll look into it as soon as I'm done with this. <laughs> but when she got done, did she ever get done with it, though, is the real question here. Oh, we've got another little thing over here. That's interesting. Uh, oh, okay. There's the combo bit there. Hmm. <laughs> Do it yourself, Byron. You may. Know, I mean, that's. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Whiny little some bitch. <laughs> All right. Where was the first? Oh, gravy. Okay. Um. What, really want me to wiggle my butt up there? Can I do that? I guess I can. There's sort of a path here. Oh, 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 sure. It lets me Skyrim horse that bit, huh? Okay. Fine. Hmm. All right. Whee! Okay. Whee! All right. That gives us access to the, uh... Oh, and it's just, like, straight up outside everything. All right. 
Um, this might be enough to do what we need to do then, because we'll have the inverter, which will be providing red, and then the relay point itself will provide blue. Oh, be one of the easier ones, huh? Except I am going to have to disconnect uh, that, I think. So let's go ahead and do... Blip. Uh... I guess that's one of the relay points over there, and then the inverter, which is not particularly visible here. Can we just, does that work? I might need to bring this up there with me. So I don't know if I'm going to have line of sight to that. Unless I move it. I could move it. There we go. Oh, that just works straight away, huh? It, we didn't even need to disconnect the other one. Okay. Wow, that's a hell of an angle there. I, oh boy, technically speaking, I guess that works, but all right, cool. The honest philosopher is rewarded with poison. The hypocrite is rewarded with power. I mean, yeah, that's, that's the reality of humanity, isn't it? Okay, cool. Well, we sort of accidentally did a star. <laughs> Half intentional, half not. Um, Alright, so that means we're on to number three. Forward migration. Everybody always wants to migrate up. No one wants to migrate down nowadays. That's alright, because down migrations are very hard to do. And... In reality, mostly you never do them. You hope to never have to do them. Uh, Alright, so what do we got? Uh, gravity plates, gravity plates... Mmm, I see this being, being a back and forth thing. Okay, well, let's connect up red temporarily. There's a gravity bit there. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so there's red there. this. Can I target that thing from here? I can. Alright. Set that there. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then... Blip. Not high enough. Blip. Zorp. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Aha! I see. Okay, well, let's just do that and connect to that. And plop that about right there. Or is that not? Ah, there we go. Oh, it does the whole outline thing when it's ready to do it. Okay, that's good. There we go. <laughs> These are interesting. Despite the fact that it's very vertigo-inducing sometimes, I do like these sorts of puzzles. Athena and Cornelius were very kind to me. And so was Byron, but he also made fun of me. Because Byron's a shit. <laughs> that made me feel more like an eagle than <clears throat> the others said. Yeah, sure, Melville, I guess. Oh, there's another set of uh, little gravity bits over there. How in the world? Um. Okay. Do we have access to another one of the things? Or can we just jump up there? Because it's close enough. Oh, it's close enough. Okay. There we go. We haven't uh, been told much about what the <laughs> citizen owes the city. Oh, Loyalty, gross. Obedience, gratitude. And I will not You're probably right, but still gross. That without some loyalty to a greater good, a man is little more than a savage. 
And I will even say that these days there are more savages amongst us than amongst the barbarians. Mm. Who we call savages out of ignorance and arrogance. Mm. But there is another question that we are rarely encouraged to ask. What does the city owe the citizen? Oh, hey, look at this. What must it offer to oh, earn hey, loyalty, that. obedience and gratitude? And if, as we have said, a city is a kind of machine, should a machine that does not fulfill its purpose perhaps be repaired uh, or replaced? Yes, to both. Depending, I guess. Why is there a... Just there a... is no strife, uh, no prejudice. Interesting. No national conflict in outer space as yet. Oh, boy. Its hazards are hostile to us all. Its conquest deserves the best of all mankind. And its opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? Then they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. Interesting little insert here. Go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because they are hard, right? Yeah. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Interesting little bit there. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I imagine... Uh, let's see here. Like, there's not there's not even any, like, <laughs> in-universe tape here, right? And of course it's not plugged in and whatever. So, suspend your disbelief, I suppose, for a moment. Huh. I am intrigued that uh, they would put that in here. Interesting speech, though, if you haven't uh, watched and or listened to it in its entirety. JFK was definitely a very good speaker. Um, hmm. Wasn't expecting to find something like that up here. Uh, alright. So we did the, did the fancy laser star thing. Um, I guess we're up to four, then. And a couple question marks that are almost certainly glowy hand bits. And then I suppose if Melville is on the way here, we can go stop by the lab and, uh, and take care of that. But yeah, I mean, if we're speaking realistically, there's no way a VHS tape with the magnetic media in it would survive presumably millennia here. It would have, it would have gone to shit way before that. Okay, number four. Oh, lasers. Red laser. Uh, oh, lots of gravity bits. Oh, got a blue laser source up there as well. There's the, okay, well, there's the red laser source. Interesting. Um, button. So we're gonna need that box. All right. Grab that box. So I imagine we can just whoop, grab the box so we can grab the laser bit. Then we can do blue and well, wherever the blue source happens to be, I suppose it's probably there somewhere. Let's see if we can eyeball one. Oh, there's a, a red laser source here too. All right. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, and then there's the blue laser source. Um, hmm. Is there a secondary laser bit I'm not familiar with here? Oh, there's a little outer escape thing here. Or is that the is that the finish bit over there somewhere? I didn't see that. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I guess we've got the box again, right? Take that. <clears throat> uh... Oh, okay, I think I see it here. That's, um... Oh, no, they've got the fence here, too, because I don't think that's going to... Well, that might be line of sight. Let's, let's try it. I just drop here. And we've got a uh, blue source there. <laughs> blue thing there. And we can just kind of pop that there. Okay. But then what? Oh, it's just the, the end. <laughs> okay. That was perhaps a bit simpler than I was hoping it would be. Some measurements from this particle cloud. Alright. Not not a bad puzzle though. It's like I guess that's thinking in 3D space, so sort of, right? Okay. Number four, so that's half the normal ones. Keep an eye out for the other secondary lost one here. Uh okay, Alcatraz still got nothing to say. Got another ghost bit over here. There's number five over Today, there. For the first time, I synthesized life. It was just a unicellular cyanobacterium, but the sheer complexity of even such a simple organism is breathtaking. Mm, huh? Creating it from pure energy. Mm. I was filled with a sense of awe and majesty. A, a sense that what I was doing was sacred mm. it made me think about the enormous power of life two and a half billion years ago these simple beings terraformed the entire planet creating the oxygen that underlies the earth's incredible biodiversity yeah wiping out thousands of other species mm -hmm. but making the future possible survival of the fittest baby i guess Oh, more Lithrazir maunderings here, huh? Oh, we ignored a bunch of errors. Surely nothing bad will come of ignoring those errors. On my last return to New Jerusalem, I perused the latest artistic offerings and found myself deeply disappointed. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. Nothing more despicable to me than an artist who pursues the appearance of morality. Moral art. It's trash, garbage, not even good enough to be used as wallpaper. <laughs> if art is a religion, mm. then morality is for those who want to be seen in church. True art is for those who believe. Art must be ecstatic, a work of revelation, created in pursuit of the truth, no matter where it leads. Mm. <laughs> an artist must be an agent of chaos in times of order. Mm. And an agent of order in times of chaos. Hmm, I'm kind of 50-50 on all the Lithrazir stuff. That one was a bit preachy. So I imagine the second lost bit is probably on the edges here. Lots of open space in this area. Lots of spots where they make you think you can climb about. Which concerns me for a different reason. Uh, so there was the one hidden bit that's already marked. That might. Is that the one we already did? Probably. It's kind of in the way of. Yeah. It's over there near the uh, uh, Pandora Star. Okay, well, there's still several question marks here, which is fine. Oh, that that bigger one there is the uh, uh, the uh, Prometheus star thing, um, which if we're in the neighborhood, I guess we may as well just do. We can get up to it. There we go. Get eyeballs on where it's pointing at. There, so east, east, southeast.
more or less. glowy hand bit over there we take a quick diversion to get it I guess so <laughs> how it was before <laughs> these would be 108 years old hot damn it's a lot of years taking a sharpness of mind to her last day a couple months before she died I interviewed her for my podcast at the end I asked her the same question I asked every guest what is something you wish everyone understood <coughs> said how it was before uh yeah i guess it's good to know history right i mean, to explain how much time she spent every single day on utterly mind-numbing activities like hauling water from the well okay and how radically everything changed when their area was finally connected to the electrical grid ah uh, yeah okay there is no time to live no time to be free only work 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 kind of kind of saying that she didn't seem to be see there didn't seem to be much time to live now either i mean <laughs> Right, different definitions and shit, right? No idea what work really meant, she said. Young people were weak and feckless, and that's why we let corporations exploit us. I don't disagree with that. Let's be honest, I do not disagree with that one. Um, so, you know, by her harshness, actor, she missed anything about that time. Blah, 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 old photos, blah, blah, blah. The village seemed idyllic to me, but we can't really cost any romantic notions I might have had. The past is bad, let it be. Oh, shit, words to live by there, too, huh? Many thousand generations of suffering, even a single life full of tragedy seems outrageous and unacceptable. I mean, yes. Miranda, ever the idealist. Return to Monk. Oh, good. Oh, that's the book of annotated internet comments again. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, poor Eustathius having to do this stuff. This thing, people are dumb, like relentlessly fucking stupid. We know that says fucking. Uh, absolute fucking morons. Hist human history is a fucking clown show from beginning to end. The average person just a slobbering buffoon. <laughs> Bubbling through life like a drunk gorilla in a fucking china shop. Wow, they think they need some uh, variety in their cursing here. Breaking stuff left and right, throwing shit at the walls. Alright, there we go, there's a four letter. At the walls and never understanding a single fucking thing. That happens. I mean, just look at this fucking software putting asterisks where swerves should be. <laughs> okay, people are fucking afraid of words. I'm sorry, I put it in the wrong spot. People are afraid of fucking words like they have magic powers, but the real world... Hmm. But the real world shit? I'm gonna say it's shit there. That is fucking ruining their lives? That's fine, because they're too fucking numb to do something about it. Return to monk, brother, we never fucking left. <laughs> Oh dear, um, you know that still reads above average for most internet comments. Let's let's be real here. A return to the mythical state among us usually portrayed as a material return to the earlier stages of development. But here, the author instead portrays it as a mental state that has never been surmounted. You know, maybe I'll see Stathia someday. He sounds like someone who is always curious about everything. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know, I, I think living in this age presently, one uh, one takes a different perspective on it. <clears throat> Alright, founding. Blah, blah, blah. First new human arrived today, calls himself Arkady after Chernyshevsky. Right? Chernyshevsky, yeah. Spirits are still dampened by the lost Yemo, but everyone is making an effort. A little sorry for him, he's still so curious, jumping at shadows and staring up at the sky at night, just like I used to do. Oh, there's nothing wrong with looking at the sky at night, it's actually really pretty if you can see it. Um, just like I used to do, and here we are, a bunch of grouchy old humans that have seen it all and are weary and tired and sad. Oh no, too real. wonder what he makes of it all. But be that as it may, we're making good progress on the new living area. The lot of will have to use the Emma's old quarters for the next few weeks. Wait, let me read that line again. Um... Because that's just pretty real, isn't it? Bunch of grouchy old humans that have seen it all and are weary and tired and sad. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, we were up to five, but here, we've got six over here. Let's just take care of six. Oh, a normal tunnel-y bit and a gravity bit and a button. Uh, 
where's the gravity bit supposed to be pointing us here? Can we aim this a bit higher so we can see? Thank you. Ah, there we go. Eh. Eh. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got behind here. Oh, nothing. Groovy. Um, well, I probably need the, the gravity bit over there. So let's move that. And put this... Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, we can't actually do anything with this. But we can get our butts over here anyway. Uh... Yeah, let's do uh, this. Pull the gravity thing through. And that gets us to... Alright, now I'm curious if we can just do like that and then have the have it pull the gravity thing through for us. Or can we pull ourselves through like that too? Whoa! <laughs> yep, okay. Question answered. Well, that gives us both bits, which opens that. Okay. I'll take it. Well, I guess that gets around the whole bit where you can't pull a, a tunnel thing through its active little hole in the wall, right? Okay, that's number seven over there, and presumably eight somewhat in the distance. That might be the... Okay, this might be the other lost puzzle over here, since we've got eyes on it. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh, and another... Oh, oh, that's the, um... Okay, we've got it on, marked on the compass now, so here's the Prometheus bit. Let's go with it. track of it like we did in the previous section. Hmm, okay, we've got something else. Ah, I see. Hold on, please, Prometheus bit thing. Gotta use my dumb robo-human body to get over there. Ugh. Uh, uh. Necessarily far away from this thing, honestly. Could have made this about half the distance and it still would have been as good. your butt in here, or... Hmm. Oh, it might be this little side path bit that I got myself tangled in before. Eh? Oh, no. 
Oh, there it is. Maybe that's where it needs to be anyways, right? Because I remember the Prometheus thing actually being sort of up there. both stars before we did all the puzzles. We gotta go back to that other lost one, though. Excellent. Okay. For a better world. Oh. Oh, trust me, Prometheus. That's, that's what's happening here. That you may never reach it. Mm. The depressing thought that you'll never the whole you'll never reach it bit is kinda of depressing, but Keep the hope, right? Keep the hope. I'm gonna take care of this lost puzzle before I forget it's over here. Even though it is already marked on the compass. Because then we've got, I think, just seven and eight left to do. Or no, uh, six, seven, and eight, yeah. Because the, the lost puzzles count for a bit. Also, why is there another, like, cordoned off area here? Oh, uh, interesting. Uh, huh. Oh, okay, so my guess here about this one, this is like the, the developer pets or whatever, right? If we assume like the group of shimmy sham dancing people from last time were the devs, maybe they, uh, they cordoned off an area for their pets too. Because sometimes you see that in the credits, right? That's fun. I figured it was another, like, Ghost Miranda thing I'm gonna talk about stuff, but not this time. Okay, still away. Alright, we've got red. Red laser bits. Multiple red laser bits. Oh, fans and shit. Oh, okay. A little gravity bit here. There's the gravity thing there. Uh, hmm. Uh, where was the red source that I was pointing at? That was here, yeah? Oh, we'll get a uh, box, too, huh? Okay. Uh, well, I'm probably gonna need the... Gonna need the box. I need to hook up the laser for it, though. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, let's try to point that there. There we go, and then we'll grab the red bit, or the laser bit here, so we can... Doge what? Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? That works. Um, so we can do that. <laughs> and then that. Oh, and I'm like, do I have my robo butt? Oh, oh no. What the hell? Why is that still fenced off? Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. So very narrow. The very narrowest of uh, places, so it makes sure we put it there. Okay, okay. Alright, so then we've got the box. 
which we will then need to probably elevate that one. Yoinkaruski over here. And we'll just take that off for now, and put that there, and then put that up there. Oh, nope, I guess not. Um, I guess we just need to back up. Hmm. Actually, how is this gonna work? So I'm like one, I'm one bit short again. Um, I, well, I guess if we do this, let me, uh, I don't know. Are we gonna be able to, like, maybe poke our way through there? No. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can just barely, can I just barely sneak a laser around the box? Probably not. way I could elevate it above. Is there another another gravity bit I could make work with this here? That's how I get over... Oh, there's a ladder to climb up here, too. So I don't even need that gravity bit on there anymore. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I see. So now I can grab the... Uh... Oh. How am I going to get that fan up here? I think I, think I understand. Um, I need... Put this, I think, down here. Can I bend my robo knees over to get this, perhaps, off the uh, off the thing? Or is that is that too much? Is that asking too much about my advanced robo body to like crawl on my robo chest and and stretch down and get that? Yeah, that's too much. Uh. However, yeah, because I think I need the fan. The only reason they would allow that fan to be detached is if I needed it for, for that probably there. To hold that open and yet allow us to line up the laser thing to go connect that. So I need to get the fan bit up there somehow. How could I do such a thing? This wall shorter than the other, perhaps? Doesn't seem like it is, but we'll try it. Oh, it it is! Okay, intriguing. Alright then. <laughs> ah, see there we go. Incredible. Is that wall really shorter, or did I imagine it? So here it's like, oh yeah, it's about twice as high there, and only about half additional height there. Okay. Uh, messed with my perspective a little bit. But alright, that's the two lost puzzle bits. We got six, seven, eight, and I guess we're kind of in the area of the lab for Melville, so we may as well take care of it on our... Hey, Melville. Yeah, what's up? There you are. Good. Yeah, don't mind me. I was just fucking around with the puzzles, but that uh, was happening. Inside this lab, there's a machine. Uh -huh. As usual, I have no idea what it is. Some sort of generator, if I had to guess. Okay, good guess. When Byron got stuck in the system, it went haywire. All right. It's currently outputting enough energy to power all of New Jerusalem Sick. twice. Sick. As you can imagine, that's causing quite a bit of interference. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, am I connecting to another data stream? Well, I hope not. <laughs> I think you should <laughs> just thanks. be able to switch it off. I, oh, shit. But do we really want to do that, though? I feel like we should be thinking this through rather than just hitting the off switch. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a puzzle solver.
Whoa! Okay, never mind. It's doing a bunch of bazapping. Maybe we should turn that off. Good gravy. I don't want to get close to that. Melville! <laughs> Come on! Oh. God, this is some fucking Spock going into the warp core to turn it off type shit. I don't want to go. I don't want to get near that. Ugh. Guess I have to. He got. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> 108, 42, 23, 16. All right, shut that shit down, I guess. Uh, can I just about put max correct setting access denied? Automatic shutdown has been disabled by user... Um, uh, who the fuck is that? Unknown user. Oh, great. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Extremely helpful. Um, I'll exit. What does that mean? Is that okay? It literally doesn't help us. Okay, and then it's just a bunch of garble, garbled garbage here, right? Yeah, see, I feel like unconditionally shutting this down seems like a bad idea. Sometimes shut down dash ph now uh, is not what you want to do. <sighs> I guess we got no choice. All right, fine. Emergency shutdown. Shut down dash ph now, please. Access denied. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Unknown script uh, Athena detected. Come on, they just they didn't even make it an attempt to hide that. They just removed the vowels. Well, besides the first day, I suppose. Uh, retry, I guess. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, retry just once more. Ah, oh. see, it's the fucking abort retry fail from ye olden days. Like, there's only one ever, ever, ever actually worked. <laughs> retry was never one of them. Uh, sure, load the Athena script. Oh, good, great. <laughs> to play a damn text adventure, huh? Oh, okay. Adapt or die based on the November blah 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 blah. blah. All right, fine. Okay, Let's play along. You wake up in an impossible place, knowing nothing. Uh, well, ain't that just every morning? Uh, look around, please. You seem to be in a labyrinth of ancient, crumbling walls. Beneath you is an altar of some kind, as if you were sacrificed. The sky above you is a perfect cobalt blue, and you are startled by its beauty. Uh, look at myself. And though you're shaped like a human, you feel that your soul belongs to that story people. You're made of bronze. You're a beautiful machine crafted with love and care and imbued with the power to choose. Well, that's pretty neat, isn't it? Pull and blows the runes, you, and you know without knowing how it is the... Okay, you know without knowing how that it is the wind from the kingdom of Artemis. It's the wind that brings with it whispers and mountains glimpses across blah 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 long forgotten cities of your ancestors. Okay, let's look around. Strange kind of beauty here. The beauty of decay. You must be careful not to imbibe too much of it. Suddenly, an incoming voice speaks to you. Emergency shutdown settings. Access denied. Error. One C. Blah 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 blah. Uh. Um. Okay. Uh. Put on incorruption. <clears throat> okay. I see. I <laughs> go to the buried city, sure. Place of great wisdom. Philosophers of old strolled its walkways, debating the nature of virtual the soul. Now the sands of the desert have claimed it. Yada yada yada. Uh, well, let's see if anyone's here. Confrocks is scaring from the ruins. Size of rubies and a flame seems to flicker deep within them. How may I help you? Um. Uh, ask for a sigil. <clears throat> You're supposed to earn the sigils. Oh, okay. Say that nothing is really earned or deserved. Well, that's kind of bullshit, but we'll go with it anyways. Oh, but we don't have the, the, the fancy MacGuffin that lets us do that. Uh, say my quest matters, sure. 
It does, but only because you choose to believe so. There is great power in that belief. Oh, okay. Cool. So we didn't even really need that. Uh, Journey to the Garden of Hesperides. Your journey is interrupted by a frightful burned figure standing alone in the sands of the desert. Access denied. <laughs> ah, fight. We ain't no cowards. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this leads you to a place where the crowns of the brass trees seem to grow together. The chamber is strangely reminiscent of a chapel. Um, in the middle of the chamber grows a smaller tree made of bright blue steel, and upon this tree grows a single golden apple. Um... Ask about their father, I guess. Say that Heracles, when he freed our father Atlas from his burden, did not do so by taking his place, but by showing him that it, the celestial spheres did not need to be held up by anyone, neither Titan, God, nor mortal. And he asked silent upon his mountain, gazing upon the stars and wept. Oh. Okay. Well, let's find out about the apple before we just go willy nilly taking shit, right? <clears throat> Converts the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes and not a few villains have come to claim it, but all faltered in the final step, for you must know that deathlessness reveals the mortality of the world. Naturally, I suppose. And true wisdom is its unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? Uh, <laughs> punch a nymph. Oh, boy. Um, well, I guess we really only have one of them, right? We've got knowledge of self. Did we uh, get knowledge of something else prior? No, we we just gained that sigil from the fox, right? That was the deal. Yeah. So we know knowledge. We have knowledge of the self because we looked at ourselves before we set out, right? Yeah, we're strong enough to bear it. Think wisely of yourself, and you're right. But do not forget that you're human, and others must mother others must be bear this burden with you. Okay, well, can't always be grammatically correct. Go to Olympus. Oh, good. Do we get to punch Zeus? I want to punch Zeus. Because Zeus is an asshole. Blah, 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 blah. The voice of the Sphinx. Yeah, Shadowcast. All right. <laughs> Emergency shutdown. Let's get this Let's get this done. Uh, you must not do this, Pandora commands you. I stopped you for a reason. If you complete your quest and ascend Olympus, everything will burn. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, uh-huh. I've heard that already. Um, let's, let's try some logic here. Uh, point out that Pandora is destabilizing shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, see? Logic. Logic and reason wins the day this time. Um, I guess we have to actually do the emergency shutdown. Yeah. Excellent. The flame is not yours to wield, creature of clay. Yeah, so? And you will burn. Eh, but I'm made of metal and other presumably not flammable things. Oh, so here now we get a little, a little hintaru of what's to come here. We get, uh, we get little laser teleporty bits, I suppose. That's gonna be fun. And also, what looks to be like jamming, spear fields thing. Okay. Crates and shit, and now the energy generation thing is operating within normal parameters, presumably. Can we go look at it? I want to go look at it. Yeah, let's go look at it. Oh, and another handful of bit. Ignore all them errors and let's read about shit, I guess. Uh, Mayor, Mayor Hermanubis has done much to bring your vision to life. We have almost reached the goal. Right, the goal being the, the whole 1,000 human robot things, right? Uh, sadly, there are still those who refuse to believe. They want to spread their filth across this world. Yeah. By all that is beautiful and what we are meant to protect. Blah, 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 blah. I hope that when we fulfill the goal, you'll return and change their hearts or cast them out if there is no other way. Oh, man. Thek was uh, one of them true believer types, it seems. Uh, the Noma Project. Uh, trials, ooh, we're up to 5206 or 5398. Uh, quadruple the size of primary site device. Uh, energy output exceeds expectations. Oh boy. I have a feeling there's going to be some hubris going on here sometimes. Uh, contain singularity. Okay, starting strong. Revise safety protocols. Halting main device and tests until blah 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and good. We get to read something that Byron wrote. Can't wait. 
Uh, lines of first companions by blah 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 blah. Oh no, something about Byron. Okay, I actually can't wait. Let's let's learn why he's such a shitter. From the very beginning, it was most similar to Athena and Cornelius. His enthusiasm and wit did much to keep the people from losing hope during the challenging days when New Jerusalem was still young. Where others saw failure and defeat, Byron saw obstacles that could always be overcome through intelligence and hard work. Ah, don't, come on, don't make me like Byron. Don't do that. Uh, he fervently studied the teachings of Progenitor and often re regaled his friends with the fantastical stories of what the world would one day become. <clears throat> when the conflict between Atrahesis, 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 and oh boy. <laughs> Say, San, Sanchoniathan? That's a pretty rad name. Sanchoniathan turned violent, the first such incident in the history of New Jerusalem, and still at the time writing one of the very few such cases. It was Byron who intervened, counseling restraint and forgiveness. Oh, damn it, Byron. Uh, he was unwilling to fully blame either side for what happened, instead emphasizing the extreme stress both parties had been under. Rational behavior is frequently the result of a perceived lack of viable options. Son of a bitch, that makes sense. Uh, he argued before the assembled citizens, while both Atrahesis and Sanchoniathan clearly behaved incorrectly, the ultimate source of the problem is the situation we place them in, having to do of having to do too much with too few resources. Shit! Are, is Byron actually reasonable? Oh no. Uh, the escalation of the conflict occurred because both were doing their best to achieve their goals. That's not terribly fair, pitting them against each other. Oh, just didn't mean to exit that. Uh, uh, not terribly fair, pitting them both against each other like that, is it? That said, I do suggest we acknowledge that they are both hot-headed idiots and make them apologize. <laughs> and make them apologize. Okay. Damn it. Oh, Byron is suddenly more relatable. Uh, after Athens and Alexandria disaster, Byron argued unsuccessfully for the re rebuilding of the colony. Age percent. Byron mattered so much to you. Why didn't you tell him where you were going? You would have loved to have an older brother. <laughs> so, boy. Oh no! Our perception of Byron is changing in the positive direction. Oh, what are you gonna do? I guess. I feel like there shouldn't be water in here. When there was a bunch of zippy zaps going on, I feel like water shouldn't be in here. It's water and electricity frequently do not mix. Well, I mean, they do mix too well sometimes. That's probably the problem, right? Hmm. All right. Well, Melville will be happy that we uh, stopped the zippy zaps. Presumably. Until we find out that, oh no, by stopping the zippy zap, something much worse is going on. Hey, Melva, what's you up? Know, We're alive. with this hyper-advanced technology is quite challenging enough without the place also being bloody haunted. Uh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, by the way. Um, did you figure out anything else? When I said it was outputting enough energy for two new Jerusalems... I was I being charitable. Kidding. Oh, okay. It really was. And no emissions of any kind. Mm. I'd have to run more tests, but it seems like a perfect power source. Ah, but you see, when things are t seem to be too good to be true, they often are. Um, but it was going, in your words, bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. True, but that was user error. <laughs> um, there's always going to be user error. I think I could idiot-proof this thing. Ah. Uh, do take your point. Ah. Uh, Pellegrino once almost killed himself with a bucket. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. You can't just walk away after that. I want to know about Pellegrino in the bucket now. Come on, Melville. Ah. Come on, you can't just say something like that and walk away. Now I'm interested. <laughs> ah, damn it. Well, maybe we'll hear about Pellegrino in the bucket some other time. That does sound like a fun story. Even if he did almost, you know, kick the bucket, as it were. <clears throat> um, alright, where are we at? Oh, uh, we've got three normal puzzles to do. And then the tower, of course, naturally, right? Well, presumably now, since we've done the two lost ones, the remainder of the normal ones will be pretty easy, right? Okay, so we got a fan. Is that detachable? It is not. Okay. 
fan, a button, a little wall walk thing, which we're gonna need immediately, probably for the box. Uh, blue laser source, a button, some force fields, a laser bit, a uh, gravity bit. Mm, I see. Okay. Um, so we're gonna need to go over there, probably. Uh, is this one detachable? No, it is not. Probably going to need to do that, although I probably want to put it on the button here. Right there. Actually, no, let's do this first. I'm going to need the laser thing. Yeah. Okay, and then that's blue over there, right? Okay. So let's do that. Grab laser, go back across. It's not on the button. Good job. Alright, uh, there. Okay. Laser bit. Back across. Um, blue and blue and, you know, I could probably just set that here. Alright, and then back across. Uh, put thing a bit there. Ah, and then there's one more, because of course there's one more. Okay. Is there another? Oh, I suppose I could just... Oh, no, I can't, because it's the... Could, in theory... Well, no, we can't, because the source is over there. All right, all right, all right. We need one more bit to weigh that thing down. Um, is there a... No, and there's no laser thing on this side to hold that open. Okay. go back over to that side. Oh, that's still just absolutely... Oh, right, because of the button. Um... Shit. What is this thing called again? Recycle. Okay. They don't have line of sight. Well, I do sort of have... No, we don't have an angle when it's down on the ground here. So presumably that needs to stay lit up. Is there a ladder on this side to get back over there? No. Okay. Uh... We can't take either of the fan bits with us, right? No? Okay. Um... Hmm. I need to get this box over here, but also with me over here. Oh! I see. I see. I need that laser bit back down. I did this in the wrong order. I need to put it down here. Uh, well, no, I need it on the. Okay, I need it. Um, need it on the button first. Cause I need to send that over, right? And then I need this on the button here. Cause I need to bump my butt over here. I need to put that there, and grab this, and then move that over there. And then that up there. And then I can take this and weigh down this last button. Ta-da! Okay. And then seven and eight remain. I... Okay, I can't climb my butt over back out there. <clears throat> Is 
seven and eight, and then if we make good time with those and we do the tower bit, we might be able to... Uh, Yakut, you got nothing? Nothing, okay. We might have enough time to maybe hop back over to the very, very, very first section and find the lab there. And we'll be more or less fully caught up. I mean, aside from being behind an entire section from last time, but, you know, who's counting? Delivery. Alright, we've got red lasers, box, multiple red lasers. Here's the laser bit itself. Oh, one of the exchange platform things. Okay. And also, a detachable fan. Okay, well, I'm gonna borrow this for a moment. Grab the gravity bit. So I am going to need that box somehow. Well, actually, hold on. I'm gonna need that box. So I'm gonna need this fan. Uh, which means I'll probably need to exchange this box for this. So that I can do the exchange like that. Turn that on. Oh. Oh. Really? Fucking... Put this fucking guitar ass pedal in here. Can I just disconnect that? <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. Um. Hmm. How's that gonna work? Cause that's the only thing providing power to the fan. Ah, uh, actually, okay. I see. Cause that would pull something else over there. Um, which would probably have to be the laser bit connected to wherever the red source is, which is over there. Oh, but it's under there. Never mind. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to need that laser bit regardless. Let's get this. And we can do that and that and that. I see. Alright, that opens that. Which, uh. I guess now we need the. Okay, now I'm gonna borrow the fifth bit. So I need the gravity bit. To pull. Okay, I see what's going on here. I need that box, because I need an extra little bit. Need an extra thing to do in exchange here, right? So I'll grab that. I need the fan bit to go back on the fan. And I need the laser bit to be still fully powered and connected and shit. Uh, oh, but I will need a box to put this on, probably, because it's not going to float up there on its own. Shit. Yet again, I'm missing a piece. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, hmm. I don't need that connected up over there. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, that's the gravity bit. Can I connect this up whilst it's on the platform here? Probably not, right? Oh, but I do have... Oh no, I don't. Oh, but I could do that behind here. Never mind. Okay, I got it. Put that there. Put that up there. Switch on. Okay. And then from here, I grab this. And do berserk. Is that gonna work? Oh, it's. It looks like it's gonna take both of them with it. Okay. Sure. Uh, where's the? Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Uh. Now, 
I need the fan bit back. So that I can exchange that for that, that for that, and then do... Oh boy, is that gonna work? I guess that might work, huh? Okay, sure. Exactly the same amount of energy. Hmm, interesting observation, Melville. I don't know how that helps us with our immediate quandary here, but good to observe, I suppose. Uh, alright, and then number eight step and release. Okay. Got a gravity wall thing, a gravity bit on an exchange platform thing. A removable fan, red lasers, and some buttons. Oh, and an accumulator. Intriguing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take the, uh... Oh, 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 and we've got another... What is that? Is that a jammer up there on an exchange platform? Okay grab this, first of all. Oh, my goodness. Alright. Uh, well, what else am I going to exchange for it, though? Do I have anything else? I don't really have anything else, do I? Oh? Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Yeah, alright. Need the gravity bit. Can I target this here? I can. Pull that out. Very good. And now we've got a secondary exchange thing. I think these light up even when they're on the little platform dillabops. So let's go ahead and do that. Or try to, anyways. Wait, why isn't that one opened up? Uh. Uh. Eh. Eh. Alright, hold up a second. Uh, that's... Oh, I need the jammer for that. Fuck. Okay, uh, well, that might be fine. We can do... Hmm. Well, I'm gonna need the jammer, right? So we need to be able to get up there. I'm probably gonna need the fan bit temporarily to uh, run the joint here in exchange for that. Let's do a little swaparoo. Doink. Okay, which means then we need to go uh, like that. And I grab this temporarily and then do this and block that motherfucker there. Can we just kind of we target the thing behind instead? Exchange this once. There we go. Like that. Because then I can do that. Now I can exchange for this. Okay. There we go. So let me grab that. Uh, grab the accumulated red here. Yoinkaruski. And then we've got red there, and we can put uh, this back in place of the fan, which is up there, which means we need to exchange this one more time. Uh, and then grab uh, wait, because I mentioned before that we could do this, right? have it on the exchange platform and it still provides. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> like that? Or no? Does it not do that? Crap. I guess it doesn't. Or do I need to... I probably need to target it and then swap. Oh, no, it doesn't. Why did I think it uh, still provided whilst it was up here? Well, I definitely need the uh, fan bit yet, so... What 
piece am I missing? I guess I don't need the, uh, the tunnel bit anymore, huh? Yeah, there we go. Or the gravity thing. There we go. Whee! Okay. That's everything, I think. So there's an additional thing that I missed here. Nope, that's all of them. Okay, now a small bit of Tetris. A conversation with, let's see, probably gonna pay, be Pandora on uh, on this one, I'm gonna guess. We haven't heard from her in a while, uh, besides the lab, I guess. <clears throat> Activate whatever murder laser this is gonna be, I'm gonna say blue. <laughs> And then we'll have a little bit of time yet, which is excellent. Uh, wait, did I not just have the thing on my compass? Where the fuck is the... Tetris Bridge thing? It's probably back this way. Yeah, there we go. Went the wrong way. Alright, well this, this section went a lot better than the previous one. For sure. I guess we had eyeballs on the, the right stuff at the right time. Okay, we gotta get up there. All right. Oh. All right. Back it up. Let's do this one first, and then yoink. Sure. And sure. No. <laughs> That one first. And then oh gross. Uh uh no, that ain't gonna work. Alright, back it up even further. The the O piece is never the first to go down. Like why would you even think that? Uh that seems ill advised and stupid. Okay, let's try that again. Right. Oh man. Uh, okay. No. Let's try that one instead. Oh. Nope. <laughs> All right. Nope. Back it up. Maybe no pieces first. I just need to rotate it, huh? There we go. Oh, but it doesn't because it's in intersecting with the rocks and shit. All right. We tried before. Let's try the other L piece. Just rotate it a bit. Oh, well. What about the T piece? I like burning the T piece early, but. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's not gonna do it. There's that. That's not gonna do it either. goes here, right? Okay. It's probably not TP's first, though. This one's got a weird, like, input-output thing going here. It's this particular L piece. But maybe that's serviceable here? Yeah, that looks better. Now we're talking. Hey, look at that. First try.
All right. Well, if we're lucky, it's going to be Prometheus we're talking to. If we're not so lucky, it'll be Pandora. Oh. Ah, I hate being right. The philosopher Stratum of Stagnera had little respect for the gods and instead placed his faith in Prometheus. I mean, yeah. Driven huh? by hubris. Ah, hubris! Questions that must not be asked and revealed secrets that should have remained hidden. It is said that for these offenses, he was put to death by the people of his city. Yeah, and? Can you see the folly of his actions? Wait, who, are we talking about Prometheus or Stratton there? Um, it's never folly to pursue the truth even if there's a cost. There's no folly in pursuing the truth, it was only his methods that were mistaken. Well, we don't really know a whole bunch about either of those. I can, he should have respected the traditions and beliefs of his people. Uh, folly was not his, it was the people who acted foolishly. Ah. Can, it was foolish of him to give his own life in the pursuit of truth. Uh, hmm. The folly was not his. It was the people. Yet he was the one who broke their laws. Yeah. Why do you and? judge them and not him? Uh, because he did not take a life. Because unjust laws should be broken. Because the truth is the only thing the future can be built upon. Oh, that's interesting. Oh boy. Um, because unjust laws should be broken. And who is to decide which laws are unjust? You? Maybe. <laughs> uh, everyone must decide for themselves and act accordingly. We must decide collectively. Some moral principles are... Oh, no, that's the cop-out answer right there. Uh, we must decide collectively. Uh, but she's going to be like, Oh, well, why didn't you trust the people? They're the collective. They're the majority. Right? And yet you say that... Uh, yeah, okay. The collective will have turned against him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, and through his actions, eventually the collective will was altered. Okay. You're correct, I contradicted myself. I don't know the right answer. Yeah, but we'll go with the first one. And how many lives must be sacrificed to appease this collective will? It has nothing to do with how appeasement. Much must be lost for the mob to find wisdom. I mean, that's up to the mob. Consider this as you approach the flame. Okay, already considered. Done. Turn on the death laser, please. Uh, what did I say? I thought I said it was gonna be blue. Eh? I got 50-50 shot on this, really, so... Yay! I was right. Love being right. I was surprisingly calm, given how aggressive Pandora has been elsewhere. I didn't think she'd even want to talk to you. Well, I mean... I've toyed with the idea that the entities might be epiphenomenal in some Epiphenomenal? Way. Instead of causing the changes in the system, maybe they just respond to them. What if I don't want to take the purple beam down? Can I just jump off here and it'll be fine? Eh, I imagine this will be fine, right? Whee! Yeah, see, we're fine. No problem. We got very good shock absorbers in these, like, where we don't have jumping power, we definitely have landing power. Um, but okay, we're, we're done. We, we did this section. Good job. Good job. I think we got most everything here, right? We did the puzzles, we did the lost bits, we got the lab. We, we didn't find where the gate was, but that's marked out, and it doesn't matter. We can't open it yet anyways. Um, and we probably got all the hand glowy bits, right? Still got a little bit of time today. So... Instead of going immediately to the next section, let's go find the lab in section one. If it lets us go back there. It does. Excellent. East one. Can we... I remember when I oh, was quite Coot's young, got something to say. I was, I was about to say, can we just go? Out what I wanted to do. Uh huh. I wanted to see the outside world. But. But even back then, that wasn't really encouraged. Yeah, well. I ran into Byron on Jameson Avenue. Okay. Completely by accident. And I was too nervous to talk to him. Yeah. I mean, he was one of the first companions. <laughs> so? But he noticed me, and we started talking, and 
He was really encouraging. Introduced me to Garrus, and took me along on an expedition to the quarries and the mountains. Okay. Whatever flaws he may have. And there's a lot of them. Cares about people. Okay. <laughs> he changed my life. Yep. That's Byron in a nutshell. Very flawed, right? Oh, come on, Alcatraz, follow that up. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, now we can skip ahead to, to landing at section one here. Oh, I forgot how pretty the first bit was. Um, all right. I'm surprised. I, I'm going to be surprised if we wander around a bit and it's not marked as a question mark on our compass here. But now that we know sort of what to look for, we'll have uh, probably a better go of things. I remember this area being relatively strictly partitioned off, right? Okay, yeah, see there's a question mark up there. Let's see if it's the lab or if it's another blowy hand bit. Hey, Richard Digbeck, how you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be the lab. Yeah, there it is. That's good. That's good. You know, I'm really glad they do the question mark thing, because it's like, well, sometimes I don't want to make a fucking marathon around the perimeter of everywhere. Let's see what we should have seen, like, the very first night here. What is it going to tell us? Is Byron going to suddenly come on over the comms and be like, hey, dipshit, why didn't you find this area the first? Oh. More reading. Blah, blah, blah. The 4.2 kilo year aridification event. You know, you could just say 4,200 years or 4,200 years. You don't need to put a kilo on that. Makes it sound fancier than it is. The Akkadian Empire, forced into violence by Sargon the Great and his sons, reigned supreme over the city state of Old Sumer. City states of Old Sumer. Uh, enriched by trade with distant lands fed by the plentiful wheat fields of Mesopotamia, the empire bestrode the world with confidence and pride. Yada, 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 yada. Then the weather changed. The crop stopped growing, trade collapsed, the empire fell, its capital forgotten. That's what happens, I guess. The most likely culprit at the time is the form of blah 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 ratification uh, at the beginning of the Megalian Age. Non-anthropogenic non drought. That may have lasted almost two centuries, causing many of the earliest civilizations around the planet to collapse. For our ordinary understanding of time, measured on the small scales of human history, well, anything compared to the billions of years of universal scale is tiny, right? Uh, collides with the reality of deep time and our existence within, within a much bigger picture. We live on a changing planet in a changing universe. Climatic optimums are temporary. Extinction is the norm. Uh, the Acadians, like the more egalitarian inhabitants of the Indus Valley civilization, could not understand why the rivers dried out and the rain stopped coming. Even if they could, they lack the tools to do something about it. A few short millennia later, we are on the brink of having that understanding in those tools. What can we learn from the tragedies of the past? Uh, one such drought, completely naturogenic, would be enough to wipe out New Jerusalem for good. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's history for you. Oh, God, the first companions. Um, <clears throat> when the founder awoke, leaving the garden behind forever, there were two more whose bodies had been anointed by the progenitor of the gold disc we'd life into them. Their names were Eustathius and Cornelius. Presumably, uh, they're referring to Athena as the progenitor here. Uh, the founder showed them all she had discovered. Together, they explored the dead city and saw the ruin to which humankind had fallen. It was then that the founder understood that the sins of the past must not be repeated, and that only through humility could the future be saved. Aside from Cornelius and Eustathius, there were ten whose bodies the progenitor had not anointed in due time. Now it was upon the founder to complete this work and begin the rest. Oh, okay. All right, there's some numbers there. I see it. In this matter, Cornelius proved a great assistance. After many tribulations, the ten were brought to life, and those twelve that were born after the founder are called the first companions. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Eustathius, Cornelius, Aurora, Sun, Cerebi, Byron, Melampus, Yemo, Hypatia, Niam, right? Niam, Benaroya, and Lifrazir. Oh, Lifrazir was the... Okay. It's funny how you can take something that's 90% true and 10% false and create... It's something that's 100% misleading. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm kind of on that side now. And then, Noema Project number two. 
Oh, talking about the first like single digit into double digit trials here. Base camp, blah, 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 core functionality, 0 0.03, 0 0.04 failed, unknown error, okay. Yeah, that was stuff that probably made, oh, and it tells us about the little tunnel bits too. Okay, well, we learned on the fly. So, not much that we missed back here other than checking a box saying that, hey, we found all the labs and shit. And we still got a little bit of time yet, so maybe we go to the next section and like, get established, right? Learn the new bit for that section, do maybe a couple of the early puzzles, and then call it a night. Or get distracted and track down one of the lost puzzles and be way out of her depth. <laughs> Either way, right? Um, uh, here, here, over here. Or, I thought over here? Am I, am I stupid? I thought it was near the... okay. Because it was locked off... yeah, it was locked off. We had to travel through, like, some little tiny pre-gate thing, right? But I think it was straight across from the, the actual gate bridge thing to the tower. Yeah, there it is. So I guess we're on to the, the final... Oh no, there's a couple social media bits too. I guess while we're here. Uh, battery issues. Hey Grump, what's going on with our battery tech? I had my battery replaced just a couple years ago and so I already constantly need recharging. Can't spend half my life in sleep mode. Oh, why not? Sounds great to be asleep like that. I could really use more sleep. Uh, this is exactly what we're coming to. Bad ingredients are rare. You can't scavenge further without building outposts. Herman shut down the mine project. What did everyone expect? You should learn to live with less. Sleep mode is a great time to meditate and think about our place in the universe. Do you really need to be active all the time? Hell no. Hell no, I don't need to be active all the time, but, you know, gotta be on that capitalism grind to make the money to survive, etc. Uh, let's start a pan- let's start a panic about a minor technical issue. Mistakes happen. Please talk to Pellegrino or Neith about- or Neith, sorry. About getting a replacement, which I'm sure will work a lot better. Yeah, we'll see about that. Alice Principle 1961. Uh, digging through the archive, I was surprised to discover there's a movie based on the Talos Principle, an international co-production by Ro written by Robert Harrison Blank. Huh. Really? Is that true? If that's true, I might look that up and see what it's about. And directed by a young Sergio Leone. It stars Peter Ustinov as Stratton as Stagira, Jezero Mostel as comedic sidekick Nicomachus, and Angel Aranda as the Ernest Amintas. Not a realistic biography, but a kind of sword and sandal fantasy epic that culminates in the threat and building a replica of the mythological robot Talos to defeat the war crazed Spartans. Oh shit, that suddenly made it more interesting. Uh, that part is fun and surprisingly well done for its tiny budget, but it's, the movie also contains a number of fascinating dialogue scenes inspired by Stratton's work. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it be hard times in human history, but do you think we, we are the first to be besieged by enemies or to doubt the wisdom of our allies? Hell no. That is human history on repeat. Uh, but while yesterday is set in stone, a better tomorrow is always within our grasp. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing. How weird was... How weird that this film is not better known. But Trevor said in the audio file 1K found, great artists know always appreciated in its one time. All right, let's not, let's not attribute some fanciful wisdom to Trevor here. He's still kind of a goof. Uh, not appreciating his own time. It's not like people particularly love Stratton himself, but we can appreciate it now. Yeah, that's reasonable. What do we have for research and shit? What's, uh, what's the standouts here? Oh, field notes from Coot. Uh huh. And uh, Melville's talking about the anti grav stuff. Uh huh. And 
then one other bit from somewhere else. Oh, here. Oh, right, the, the arcade machine we found. About, what was it? What was it? It was like Serious Sam 47 or some bullshit? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fucking great. Okay. Um, alright. Uh, on to South 3. Can't travel to Unknown Puzzle. What do you mean? Okay, alright, alright. Why did it say Unknown... Ah, oh, whatever. South 3. Let's go. Got a more traditional tower going on there. So here it looks like there should be an anti gravity elevator, but it's, oh, it's locked, locked down. down until we I'll solve puzzles, right? Ah, Melville. Really sorry, Wonka. I know it's a risk. Yeah, sure is. Think it'll be worth it. Really? Okay. If you say so, Melville. Of all the other people, I guess Melville is probably the one I would trust the most. I mean, Yakut's a very close second. Alcatraz is kind of wishy-washy. Byron, definitely fucking not. Man, <laughs> blitz all the normal puzzles. <laughs> ah, we're already two hours in. I don't think we can do that. Transport system, blah, blah, blah. It's amazing, yeah. I think she's really excited about showing this place to people one day. Okay. She also kept asking me about what kind of monuments we could build, you know? To really transform the landscape. Show the possibilities. But her capsules only fit one person. I mean, yeah. It's just the first iteration. Give her some time. She'll figure it out. Remember how many mistakes we made in the beginning, even with all the blueprints we had? But that's not my point. It just worries me that she lacks context. Her imagination is incredible, but it's still limited by what she hasn't experienced. Would it have been better if she'd been raised in New Jerusalem? If her mind was limited by self-hated mm, decay? If all she could imagine out. was sitting around, ignoring the universe in favor of self-righteous solipsism? Oh, oh shit. No, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Woo! Sorry. Athena! You're not wrong. We can't fucking stay full breath. blast there. Hot damn. Hot damn. Starting to respect Athena a bit more. <laughs> All right. Well, there's puzzle one. That seems too obvious, though. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's take a jog around. This one's not even marked on the map just yet. What do we got here? Oh, oh, it's the gate. I see. Not terribly exciting, that. <clears throat> Gates aren't terribly exciting until I presume we gather all of the stars, right? That's when those things start going active. But, uh, alright, puzzle one's over there. Uh, okay. Looks like there's no... Like, walls and geographic shit stopping us from just walking out this way. So I'm gonna do this for a bit and see when it stops us from going. Because at least, like, the little marshy area had the deep water, right? That would stop you from going and doing weird stuff. This just seems like, hey, we can just walk for a, a while yet. So let's see. Is it gonna stop us or am I wasting time? Honestly, my money's probably on the ladder. Wasting time. Uh, yeah. Exiting designed safe zone. Are you kidding me? Come on. Really? You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna soldier on anyways. Ah, it doesn't let us. Boo! Boo. As long as we don't get fucking Elohim's words here, that's fine. I'm okay with it. Okay, it just pops us back to the last checkpoint, I guess. Bo! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, fine. Let's do puzzle one and then we'll call it. We'll learn about the new bit here. Presumably there's a new bit. <clears throat> and then we'll, then we'll call it a night. Centrifuge! Uh, okay, we've got switches, we got lasers. Oh, we got rotating bits, huh? 
Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Oh, we got a combo bit. Mm, with red. Red and, well, blue and green, yeah? Okay. Well, let's take the combo bit with us for now. Uh, we're gonna need a source of something, I imagine. Uh, clockwise. We wanna go counterclockwise. There's probably one of the source bits over here. Oh, and we've got an inverter as well. Hmm, I see. I see. But a blue source. Uh, hmm. Well, can we use this as just a, a normal source here? Or? No, no, it doesn't like that. But then we've got a red, and presumably a green. I guess there was a red on that side. But okay, let's let's do this. We'll have a red and. Need a blue, right? Red and a normal blue, which gives us a green. Which I don't particularly know what that's going to be about there. Uh, hmm. Okay. So I presume this side is the red source, right? Yeah, sure as fuck is. And then that's blocked off. Um uh, Okay, I think I got it. I need that side instead. Because that'll give us red, the inverter will give us blue, and then we've got the combo bit for green. Uh, so let me set this up like this. We'll go flip, flip, and then red. To red to there, and then blue, red to blue to blue there. Ta da! Okay, so not necessarily a new bit going on there. Maybe just the rotating platform, but I'm hesitant to call that a new bit. Does still give us lasers. Can we put these lasers out to somewhere? Because we've got access to pretty much all three colors here. So it's, it's going to be a very narrow line of sight, but we've got them. Let's keep our eyes open, I suppose. Let's see what we've got up here. Some question marks. Probably a, a glowy hand bit. I guess we got time for a glowy hand bit. Uh, oh boy, lots of reading in the. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's whatever this one is. Surely this won't go poorly. Okay, I don't know what that was. Uh, archive documents. Uh, getting rich was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Not being poor was great, no longer having to worry all the time, yeah, okay. Being able to afford the best doctors, being able to go on holidays, being able to take care of... How is that not being... Oh, man, okay. Uh, being rich just isolated me and changed every interaction with every other person because suddenly I had the ability to change the life to fix all their problems, and I knew it, and I knew it. A simple choice on my part could take away so much of the pain and every interaction became affected by the inequality, but it made me better. Yeah, sorry. Not having a lot of sympathy for whoever the fuck this is. Um, if you have a relationship with family is transactional, I was desperately looking for a genuinely human experience, but I seemed, uh, excluded from that now, and it made me resent everyone. Oh, yeah. Trust me, I'm sure that resentment was more than mutual. Uh, what I didn't see, what I only saw now as I'm dying, is that I could have used that money for good. All of it. It doesn't mean being in some NGO run by other rich people. It means really using it. I love movies. How many indie movies could I have financed? How many books could I have gotten published? How could I have done much could I have built? And not another villa for myself was things that would benefit civilization in general. Hell, I could have just given it away, made all his lives better, taken away that pain. And if at the end of the day I was only left with enough money to be upper middle class, so what? Well, okay, well there's your problem right there. You made bad choices, you fucking dipshit. At least I would have been the person I wanted to be. 
When our resource wealth has such has no value, and only in terms of the ability to act. <clears throat> Made this ancient human so unable to act. It can't have been a personal. It, <clears throat> excuse me, Athena. I'm sorry. It can't have been a personal failing? I, really? Really? I'm pretty sure it could have been a personal failing. <sighs> That's the answer lies in scarcity or a system built on it, naturally optimizing towards resource accumulation. Yeah, well, there's nothing natural about that optimizing towards it. Let's be, sure, let's be real here. Um, historical circumstances, not individual sin. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 No, it's never something that the individual done. Nope, it's never their fault. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Nope, the rich are free of sin. Absolutely. I read about rich ancients who did act differently. They were rare, but they did exist, so it is possible for people to defy the will of history. Yeah, okay, Miranda's got it right here. Miranda is 100% is in the right here. Jeez. Boy, maybe I shouldn't have read this tonight. That's got me salty now. Um, uh, from Drinkulo. Okay. It's all a joke, isn't it? A giant prank, giant prank perpetrated in all of us. The goal of the founder of simulation. I, didn't even, I don't even think you exist. I don't think biological humans ever existed either. What nonsense. I bet those messages go to the mayor's inbox or straight to the recycling bin. You all suck, Lamau. <laughs> oh, Trinculo gets it. Trinculo gets it. Oops. I Did I not left click there? I swear I left click there. Seems to be corrupted. No? It's almost like something tried to delete it as you were downloading it. Pandora, huh? maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, that was the 5858 we tried from before, I guess. And Facious Journal, Volume 1. After the chaos of the last few months, Quiet has returned to the city. I suppose we're calling it a city, although a small collection of dwellings inhabited by 25 folks, robot humans, whatever. Seems to barely deserve that designation. You could call it a village, perhaps a township? Uh, we'll have to come up with an actual name soon, I suspect. After the first one or two decades, calling it, quote-unquote, the city, we can get a little bit stale. Aaron has an opinion. It's the talk of the town these days. I'm personally hoping that New Alexandria will win out. I suspect Elohim's legacy carries the most weight. Byron came up with some silly suggestions like Catstantinople. <laughs> Very New York and robot parents. <laughs> oh, fuck, Byron. Why you gotta have the good suggestions there? I do like all of those. I do like all of those, actually. Mm, damn it, Byron. Uh, and then this was the co corrupted one. Go to our eye bleach to cheer up. Oh no, that's a bad suggestion. Why would you say such a thing, Firetron? I don't like sand. It's coarse, and rough, and irritating, and it gets in my ball bearings. Yakut with the, the the realistic portrayal of sand there. Okay, I guess we're at puzzle two. We may as well do puzzle two. Alright. Blue lasers. Blue lasers. Uh, switches with the rotating bits. I guess the rotating bits are the new thing, huh? Okay, we got red laser then. Mmm, I see. Okay. Um, can we... Okay, yeah, there's the red thing, there's the red thing there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna grab... Oh, I'm gonna do this, I suppose, because I'm gonna need to... Grab this on the way through, methinks. Uh, let's rotate clockwise. And grab the thing. Thank you, because we're going to need red going over here, right? And that's probably going to be a new, another additional laser bit. Um, I think we're going to be doing half seas regardless. Let's just keep going clockwise. Back that up a little bit. Yep, there we go. There's the extra laser bit. <clears throat> Which means blip, blip, blip. And uh, let's keep going clockwise. One more time. Oh, wait. Uh, oops, that was two. 
too far, maybe. Well, actually, no, no, maybe not, because we need the blue to that, right? Ah. So now that's all inherently open, right? Uh, well, let's do it from here, then. Flip, flip, flip. And now we can grab this one. Uh, which needs to be red. Shit. <laughs> Ah, shit. Okay. Um, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this to keep this open, right? And then we're gonna rotate this around counterclockwise. So that we get access to red. Oh. Uh, this needs to be repositioned. About right there, right? Or, actually, does it need to do that? Wait, because we need to swing red around this way, yeah? How the balls are we going to do that? Oh, actually, no. I know, because there's an additional... Oh, wait. Hmm. Let's pull this back here. I'm going to need this other laser for sure. I'm not gonna be able to pull. I'm gonna be able to pull red from that one. Um, is there? Shit, there isn't another thing to keep that open, is there? Um. How's that gonna work? I need that to be blue, right? Oh, well. Yeah, I'm gonna need that to be blue. Can I not get both red and blue sources here? So it needs to be... This needs to be open and this needs to be open because that's the only one that has got red, yeah? There's no, like, additional... Oh, I see. Yeah, no, that's still not gonna work. Ah, eh, fuck. Well, this needs to be connected to the red. Regardless. this up. Um, let's go clockwise here. Because that's just going to do that. right up until like the last fifth of it and then it's just like yeah no fuck you buddy you can't use both red and blue there and I'm like shit you're right <laughs> uh the passageway okay well well this first right this first so we can do uh, clockwise right and yep pull that pull that Oh wait, I need the other thing first, actually. Uh, clockwise. Then blip, and blip, and one more. Put that back, so we can grab the second laser thing. Oh, there's a third laser thing. Did I miss this one? I must have missed- Oh, I'm such an idiot. I missed that one. 
Okay. Do that. Uh, counter twice. Or once. Um, let's do that and that. Uh, I guess we'll just do it like this, huh? Move this back so I can grab the third laser. There we go. Okay, now we're good. We just needed a, th a third one to make this work. Um, okay, that's fine, I think. Grab this one out of there. I need then that, that, that. Rotate this counterclockwise. All those are open. I'm gonna except do that like that, right? And so that holds open, and now we can use this one. Oh, except we need this to be open to red and blue. How's that gonna work? Ah, right, because I need one to hold this open. One to hold that open, and then counterclockwise one more time to get red involved, right? Move this back to, I guess, right about there. Okay, and then we can grab this red bonk and scam this one out. Red to red. There we go. Man, it helps when I, uh, scope all the pieces. I spotted the lab with the drone. Sending you the coordinates. Excellent. See, Yakut's doing the, doing the work. Making us, uh, not have to go searching around for shit. Um, but with that, hey, that's two into this next area. Got a pretty big question mark over here. Let's, let's scope what, whatever this is. <clears throat> Been about how their wealth has alienated them. Hell no. <laughs> if your wealth has alienated you, that's your fucking problem, man. Not anybody else's. Good gravy. What a fucking crock. This must be one of the. This must be one of the the lost bits, right? Yeah. All right. You know what? We're here. Fuck it. Let's do this one. Where's the fucking entrance? There it is. Okay, what do we got? I guess this also checkpoints, so we could just stop here. But let's see what we have at, at the very least. Button, red laser, red laser, etc. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Okay, additional laser bit. Blue laser, blue laser. Uh, we don't have angles on this, do we? That would be silly if we did, right? Let's, uh, stop in that. Oh, a fence. Okay. Oh, an accumulator. Alright. Uh, okay. Um, we do still need that to be red laser. What is this doing? Oh, I see. Okay. Blue laser. Hmm. Wait, did I not? Oh, dummy. Blue laser, blue laser, blue laser. Set on this thing here. And then raise up. Uh, okay. Can we move that over just a hot bit there? There we go. Okay. Exactly what I was going for. Um, hmm. Okay. Where was the accumulator behind again? Oh, it's behind a blue, huh? Okay. Which means I need that raised up. That's not gonna help, though. The only way to get that blue out of there, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. I need 
need to liberate that, uh, that accumulator first. Let's go back over here. This needs to go here temporarily. Put this back here. Um, and then run this one to also go there. Oh, no, that's not right. Um. Oh, shit, that's just out of the range of that one. That's a lot of blue. No. Oh. Um. Hmm. Mm, okay. I think I see. Okay, so now that's blue. But, how the fuck do I get in and pick it up? That doesn't help me. That did not help me at all. That is blue. I need to get in there. <laughs> I need to get in there and do something. I need to reposition it to like here or something. How do I do that? All I've got is red. In theory, I don't know. Can't charge it with red yet. only good that does is by getting us access to blue, which would be a bit of a good at this point. But I need red to be able to get back here. not reaching back to that one anyways, because there's a fence in the way? Oh no, that kind of is. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, well, presuming I've got blue now anyways from here, right? Somehow. I would need, uh, need access to it, though. <laughs> Balls. All right, uh, hmm. Well? Uh, yeah, can I do this with one? I suppose I can, right? Uh, no, no I cannot. I need both of them. Shit. Ah, nuts and gum. Thought I had that. So I would need that elevated, and I would need another relay point down here to get in there, right? 
But... Okay. No, no, no. Okay, I think I got it. Hold on. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay. Get in there. I'm gonna grab this. And that. And put that right here. I think. Well, actually, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna grab bonk, bonk. Put that there. Put that here to here on this one. Raise that up. Get that opened. Which then preserves that as open. Okay. Red to red to here. Okay. And now we've got... Uh... This position such that we can get blue here to let myself out. And then this one here to grab blue here. Alright, there we go. That was really kind of St you stupid, Melville. Excellent. Oh, okay. Well, uh, excellent is fine too. Thank you, Melville. <laughs> Not the word I would have used, but you know. Melville's always been kind of the, the kinder sort. Okay, cool. Well, we did two normals and one, one, one of the lost bits. That's probably pretty good, huh? Good enough for a night's work. We're, we're caught up and a little bit, of, well, not a little bit ahead. We're closer to being caught up than we were before. Let's be honest. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. An extremely Wednesday night. 7 p.m. CST, back here to do the Talos Principle 2. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CST. <clears throat> Excuse me. We Schmuck Book Club. Um, some more of Shienryu, or uh, Karis, or Blue Wish Resurrection Plus. Uh, Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CST, we long play. We'll be continuing with Assault Android Cactus, more Speedrun D-Rust, and Infinity Drive D-Rust. Should be a lot of fun. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.